Hi, my name is Emily and I'm part of the Ventures team. In the following video, we will be looking at the first part of the design thinking process, empathise and define. The start of the design thinking process is all about understanding your customer. You want to learn as much as possible. We tend to think this is about research, looking at market trends and customer behaviour. That is a good start However, this is not enough. For it to be truly insightful, we want to see the world through the eyes of our users. What do they experience? What do they say and do? Empathising can be hard. It is not about you, it is about them. It is important to note, you must be very clear about who your customer is. If your answer is everyone, you must be more specific and segment your users. These segments are called personas and they will help you describe the worlds of multiple people who share the same set of characteristics. To keep track of what you learn about your users, empathy maps can be a great tool. You would ideally have one for each persona. If you find yourself thinking your user has sometimes different reactions to the same experience, then this is a hint that you can further segment your users and create different personas. The empathy map will help you break down how your user experiences the world. Start by detailing who it is, be very specific, and then be very clear about what they need to do. Steps three through six will then guide you through their experiences. All this information will then provide you with insights into what are your users pains and gains or needs and wants. Keep track of these, we will use them further down the process. It is important that you find a way to talk and interact with your user. True empathy is very hard if you don't take the time to spend time with your user. This might mean you will have to get creative as to how to create those opportunities. It does not have to be a passive opportunity where you just show up wherever your user is. You can actively create opportunities where users can come to you. Remember to keep a track of your insights. As you learn more and more, you must start to synthesize and converge towards clear insights and lessons you learned. This will help you take the next step of the process. It is very hard to act on so much information if you don't take the time to make sense of it. 